Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into CryptoZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we are currently sitting at $1.36 trillion. We're up 4.9% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is currently sitting at 44.4%. Looking at the overall markets, guys, we are seeing a lot of green across the board, especially in the last 24 hours. Some altcoins even up double digits. Finally, finally, some sort of relief in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, but today, guys, I want to look further into Cardano and see what exactly is going on and where we could be going in the immediate short term. So, Cardano family, if we are looking at the ADA's price, we are currently trading at $1.18. We're up 3.7% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative, but we're also uh, down 0.6% in Bitcoin comparative. Uh, market cap right now is $37.8 billion. Meanwhile, 24-hour trading volume is at $1.84 billion. And the current rank for ADA right now is at that top fifth spot on Coin Market Cap and on Coin Gecko. Zooming out and looking at the bigger picture, though, in just the last year alone, ADA is still up. 858.6%. So let's not forget that when we are looking at the prices for Cardano. Uh, but what is causing this excitement in the markets? So if you don't know, Elon Musk came out and said he personally owns Bitcoin and also his company SpaceX also owns Bitcoin. And he also mentioned that uh, we, um, I'm sorry, not we, uh, that, you know, Tesla might st start, you know, accepting Bitcoin once again. So what happened with the price of Bitcoin? We did see a bounce back up indeed after that announcement. But if we're looking at the ADA's price right now, guys, what a nice bounce towards the upside. So like I mentioned, you guys can go watch my videos, uh, you know, my previous videos. I did say, guys, we do have a chance to go below this level of support at this one dollar and six cents mark because everything does depend on bitcoin and we did see a uh, drop uh, happen for ada we went all the way down to one dollar and two cents we did not manage to go below um you know a dollar and that is a bullish sign itself and i did also mention if we did go below a dollar those prices will not hang around for too long so if you manage to pick up some ada at this one dollar two cents mark guys you would be up right now, as of speaking, 15.36% in just one day. So that might have been a very nice spot uh, to be picking up some, you know, Cardano if you were really waiting to do so. Um, because, you know, we are up 15, almost 16% since then. But now comes the question that everyone wants to know. Is this the start of the next leg up for the cryptocurrency space. So we will go over our personal opinions and you know the Bitcoin price and then we will come and make a conclusion as to what possibly is most likely going to happen. Looking at the Bitcoin price, we are sitting at $32,076. We did have a bounce back up uh, from this level, but obviously we do need to factor in this uh, announcement that has come out from Elon Musk, but we're still below this $33,500 level because you guys know this is a very, very important level uh, for the Bitcoin price. And we need to get above here and most importantly above $36,480 for us to be on the safer end. Um, you know, until uh, we're um, below that, you know, we are definitely not out of the woods just yet because at the end of the day, you guys do know these markets do run off Bitcoin. But so far, we did see, uh, you know, a nice bounce back up. Uh, so, you know, no one is complaining. But one thing that I want to bring out for you guys, I'm sorry, not bring out, basically share with you guys is that this is going to, sh you know, this is basically showing us the amount of power Elon Musk holds within the cryptocurrency space. 
don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of Elon Musk as, you know, a person. I believe he's a genius, but I am not a big, big fan of how much power he really does hold in the cryptocurrency space. Whether he comes and makes an announcement, a bullish announcement, we do see the price action go very, very high. And this is um, the reason as to why we did see Bitcoin hit an all-time high this year was mainly because Elon Musk came out and said Tesla will be accepting Bitcoin, which did cause Bitcoin's price to skyrocket. And this is happening once again. The, you know what? I want to share my personal theory as to what is going on. I believe he came out here around this uh, level, you know, when the price of Bitcoin fell sharply. Uh, yeah, and this happened when the China FUD came out and Elon Musk coming out and saying Tesla will no longer be accepting Bitcoin. This really did have a negative effect on the Bitcoin price. But you know what I believe happened here was that he did it intentionally. The reason being that he wanted to pick up some cheaper Bitcoin because he does see the vision of Bitcoin a long term. And now we're seeing so much interest, never seen this much interest before in the cryptocurrency space, especially Bitcoin seen as an actual crypto asset. And, you know, he probably wanted to be picking up more Bitcoin at a cheaper price. So my theory is that he came out and said, you know, they will no longer be accepting Bitcoin like Tesla won't. And obviously, that would have been and was a major, major statement. And uh, now I believe that he has come out and said something positive, And I believe this possibly could be a start to the next leg up if he continues to keep on, you know, bringing out this, uh, you know, positive you know, news regarding Bitcoin, I believe it is going to, you know, start the next leg up. And he does have a major role into this. So, but we need to be monitoring these price levels. We need to get above $36,300 level for us to be on the safer end of the spectrum. But what does this mean for ADA's price? So let's say, you know, Bitcoin does get above $36,000. Uh, you know, $400 level, then I would not be surprised if we do shoot up back to this point 50 Fibonacci retracement level and gradually start climbing up, you know, towards all time highs. Um, you know, one thing I want to tell you guys is that, you know, at, sometimes in the markets, there are going to be consolidation phases. I have mentioned this before. And there is also going to be times where you seem to think that the markets are very boring. But patience is very much needed at this time because, when the markets start coiling up, markets do tend to move up very, very fast. And we just saw in one day, even though BTC dominance is still quite high, guys, let's not forget that. If BTC dominance was at 40%, I would not be surprised if we would have already been in this point 50 Fibonacci retracement level by now. But even though we are sitting at 46% BTC dominance, we still see on, seen a 15, almost 16% bounce towards the upside. So you guys get the perspective as to what I'm saying. Patience is very, very much needed in this market. And Cardano as a project, you guys know a lot of exciting things are coming ahead. So, you know, definitely a lot of excitement uh, coming indeed in the short, immediate term. And obviously the long term, you guys know my perspective on Cardano. Literally the sky is the limit. Looking at um, you know, staking rewards, you guys can see 70.5% of the circulation supply is still being staked right now, and this number is growing as days go by. Obviously, the anticipation uh, for the smart contracts launching is very, very high. This is going to be a revolutionary you know, time for the Cardano project and the team itself, and along with the community, because this is going to literally revolutionize the entire crypto space, in my personal opinion. Um, you know, very, very exciting times indeed coming ahead and, you know, literally the sky's the limit for a project like Cardano long term speaking. Uh, but right now, what I would personally like for Cardano to do is get back into this point 50 Fibonacci retracement level and I do not see it having any difficulties getting back there uh, if Bitcoin can easily get above $36,300 mark. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys are doing and uh, what is your strategy right now. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys think this indeed is the start to the next level up and if you guys have not joined the telegram group chat guys what are you waiting for it's free to join a link in the description box below we talk about cryptocurrencies the latest news and trends revolving around the space and just have a great time at the end of the day so come join the group and let's build this community together but with that being said i will see you guys tomorrow stay safe out there safety health and family comes first and uh, you know everything else absolutely comes later it's been crypto zx and peace out